Hello, sports fans and Stratomatic fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm here today with a look at the baseball ratings for Stratomatic for this coming year. It is always a topic of uh, consternation for many fans because we all disagree with <clears throat> at least a few key players every year, it seems. And, uh, you know, I'm sure this year is going to be no different. Uh, so I'm going to just take a quick look at the um, statistics or the, uh, the ratings. Now, I'm going to be looking, like, up away from the camera because I am looking at my screen um, as I go through this. So that's why I'm looking up and away from the camera uh, at many times throughout the video. So uh, let's just take a quick look. We got the spreadsheet up of all of the ratings for uh, the uh, players, and we will take a look at them. Uh, beginning with uh, Baltimore, which has been on the screen for a while here. Uh, you can see I'm just going to hit some key uh, players at, on every team. Uh, Adley Rushman is going to be a catcher one again. Um, Cedric Mullins will be a center field one, or a catcher, yeah, catcher one for Adley. And center field one for Mullins. Uh, you've got a shortstop two for Mateo. Um, Hayes is going to be a two at the corner outfields and a three in center, not uh, un totally unexpected. Anthony Bamboom is a catcher six. Boom. So let's move on, um, and we will go to um, the Boston Red Sox. And um, with the Boston Red Sox, you can see, uh, well, you can see there's a lot of fours. Which, Strat, see, one way that Strat makes a bad team bad, or play bad in a replay, is that it gives them a lot of bad fielders, even though maybe they're not quite as bad as bad in real life as their ratings are. But that's kind of how they level the, the playing field. You can see Adam Duvall, he went down uh, in ratings. He is a three in the corner outfields and a four in center. He used to be a good defensive uh, outfielder, and he is not anymore. And by the way, if there's anybody you want to look at, don't wait for me to call somebody out. Just look at the screen and look at what their ratings are and uh, make a quick note of it if you want to. Um, you got Bobby Dahlbeck as a four everywhere. I'm just a four. <laughs> All right, so let's go on to the next team. Uh, this would be the Chicago White Sox, and Tim Anderson got a second base four and a shortstop four. Elvis Andrus, now he's on my Strat team. He's on my Elmwood team, and I was hoping he would maintain his shortstop two, but he didn't. He slipped to a three. The Burgermeister Meisterberger is a three at third base for the White Sox, but um, he is also, he was traded to the Marlins, so we don't know what his full card is going to be, uh, but for the um, White Sox, he would be a three. Um, so let's see, you got a lot of fours there. Again, the White Sox weren't very good, so you have to make a lot of fours. Johan Moncada, though, got a two at third base. That's kind of nice to see. Um, Zach Remillard is a four everywhere. I wanted to draft that guy. Well, maybe not now. So then you got the uh, Cleveland Indians, I believe this would be. Um, We'll just, uh, let's see, Quan, Stephen Quan is a left field one and only a left field one. Um, and uh, Miles Straw is a center field one. That's not a big surprise. Um, Zanino's a forward catcher, but he would be an additional player. And by the way, over here, uh, you can see they're... Um, like regular, me reg means it's a regular player. Mix means that he's got a, a couple different cards. Comp means he's only a computer. He's only going to be a computer player. And add means he's going to be an additional player uh, with the set. So we will move on to Detroit. Uh, you know, again, a lot of fours out there. Uh Parker Meadows is a center field two. 
Marisnik is a two in center and a two in right. Of course, he's always been a good uh, defensive outfielder. And Javi Baez is a shortstop, too. Got to move along smartly, move along smartly. Now we got the Houston Astros. I was happy to see my man El Tuve is uh, a second base, too. That works out great because he is on my Elmwood uh, Stratomatic team. In Yeah, he's on my Elmwood Stratomatic team. Um, you see Jeremy Pena keeps his shortstop one, so they're really impressed with his defense at shortstop. And Kyle Tucker is a right field two. Again, moving along, but if you want to look, look quickly uh, as I get to each team because I am going to move, uh, move along. you got Kansas City here. Uh, Nicky Lopez is a second base one. Sweet. I mean, the White Sox got him, so maybe he can uh, maintain. I I like Nicky Lopez. I think he's a scrappy, you know, good scrappy player, but he's just, you know, I don't know how he's going to be as a full-time player if the White Sox make him a full-time guy. So, um, yeah, let me. Bobby Witt pulled down a shortstop two, so that's not bad. Uh, and then Drew Waters is a two in the corner outfields. I don't really, I'm going to be fully honest with you, I don't know who Drew Waters is. Uh, so we're on to the L.A. Angels. And I have on this team, I have, uh, man, there's a lot of play. I have Taylor Ward, and I was glad to see he got a left field too. But let's take a look at some of the other ones. Ursula is a four pretty much everywhere except third. He's a two at third. Um, Luis Rangifo, love Rangifo. He's a four like everywhere, except second base, at which he's a three. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna move along from uh, the the uh, L.A. Angels, and we're gonna move into the um, Twins. You got the Twins here. Gallo is a two at first, a two in the corners, outfields, and a three in center. And you got uh, Drew Stevenson. Andrew Stevenson is a two in center and two in left. My man Michael Taylor, he is on my Elmwood team. He is a one in center. Let's move along, move along. You got the Yankees here. Uh, DJ... LeMahieu is a first base two and a third base two and a second base three. Um, Stanton, no surprise, he's a five in the corner outfields. Um, Jose Trevino is a catcher two. Uh, Josh Donaldson is a third base two. And uh, let's see, I got my phone blowing up. I did make a trade offer to a guy in the league. Uh, let's see. Um, so let me see here. Shortstop one, Nick Allen for Oakland. This is Oakland. Nick Allen is a shortstop one. Um, Brent Rooker is an outfield five on the corners. So I stopped there. We've got the Seattle Mariners. A lot of fours, but you got Julio Rodriguez as a center field one. Um, yeah, a lot of bad defensive players for Seattle. Kind of surprising. Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay, you've got a shortstop one in Wander Franco. And you got Taylor Walls is a second base one and a third base two and a shortstop one. That guy is just a, basically a gold glove infielder. Um, Siri, Ho, Jose Siri is a center field one. Yeah, they got some ones out there. Yandy Diaz is a two at first. Now you got Texas. Now see, Texas, you can notice how across the board Texas has some... See, and Texas is the world champions, so they have to make 
some of their guys better defensively than they might otherwise really be. Like, you got Travis Jankowski's a left field one. Does anybody really believe Jankowski's a left field one? And a center field two and a right field two. And um, Leody Tavares is a center field one. And, um, you know, Lowe, Nathaniel Lowe is a first base two. Then you've got both Jonah Heim and Austin Hedges are catcher ones. Now, Heim, I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's a little, that's maybe a little bit iffy. Austin Hedges has always been a good defensive catcher, though, so it's not surprising he's a one. Uh, we're moving on to Toronto. Toronto, you're going to get the mixed bag. Dalton Varsho, a left field one and a center field two. Um, Danny Jansen is a catcher two. Uh, Alejandro Kirk is a catcher too. We'll move along, move along. Now we're into the National League. Got the Arizona Diamondbacks, and of course they were the National League champions, so you expect to see some better ratings from them. Uh, I mean, maybe not. I maybe not undeserving though. I mean, Corbin Carroll, he's got a one and left and a two and center and right, but really, I mean, can we argue with that? He was really good. Um, you got Alec Thomas is a center field one. Uh, Christian Walker is a first base one. Um, so let's see. And now you got Atlanta, and of course Atlanta was really good, although they have quite a bit, they have quite a few fours for being as good as they really were. Got um, Eli White is a center field one, and uh, Michael Harris is a center field one. So you would have a little bit of a uh, a problem if you were managing Atlanta. Uh, the Cubs, the Cubs got a lot of fours everywhere. Horner though is a one at second and a one at short. Uh, where's Bellinger? Where's Belly? He's a uh, first base two and a center field two. I've got him in another league, not in the Elmwood League. Uh, you got Cincinnati here, Cincinnati with some speckling fours and threes around the place. Um, TJ Friedel is a two in every outfield. Um, Kurt Casale, a catcher two, which he's always been, and Luke Maley has always been a good defensive catcher too. So there's Cincinnati. Again, trying to move along smartly here. You got Colorado with fours everywhere. Again, not very good team. Um, es Escri Escriel Tovar is a shortstop one. Um, got a lot of fours up there at the top. Ryan McMahon is a one at third and a two at second. And the Dodgers, you got a lot of, this is a lot more threes and fours than I would expect on the Dodgers. They were as, they were pretty good. Outman is a two in every outfield. Uh, let's see. Freddie Freeman's a two at first. Mariznick is a two at, now Mariznick is a computer player. He's, because we saw him before, so he's a center field too. Uh, so he's on a couple different teams in the set. Um, Joey Wendell is a shortstop too. Hmm. Nice. Nice for a guy that uh, hit as bad as they did too. Because another thing Strat does is when you hit well, you tend to get a better rating in, on defense. Like remember Cal Ripken? That always happened with Ripken. When Ripken was hitting really great, he would always get a shortstop one. When he didn't hit as well, he was always a shortstop, too. <laughs> Had nothing to do with the rice of, price of rice in China, but that's what happened. Willie Adamas is a second base one. And, yeah, now we're into the Milwaukee Brewers. Is this the Milwaukee Brewers? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know why it's... You know, I would think it would the initials would be MB, but not, you know, whatever. So, um, 
Bryce Terang is a second base one. Let's look at a few other guys. Kristen Yelich is a left field three. Joey Weimer is a two in every outfield. We are on to um, the Mets. The Mets, surprisingly good defensively um, for as bad as they were. Uh, shortstop one is Lindor. You got Brandon Nimmo at two and left and a two in center. Uh, Thomas Nito is a two at catcher. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, Philadelphia. We got Philadelphia with threes and fours everywhere, but that's not totally unexpected. I mean, I've I've been saying for a couple of years now that the Phillies are a team of DHs, but you know, the t it's working. It's working for the Phillies. But uh, you got Christian Pache is a one in every outfield. Johan Roja is a center field one. Um. It was nice to see Harper got a three at first. He's on my uh, Elmwood team, so I'll play him at first base. Got the Pirates. I'm expecting a lot of fours here and even a couple of fives. As you can see, Alfonso Rivas is a five and left. Um, and then you got um, Henry Davis is a five and right. You got Cabrian Hayes is a third base one. That's a little surprising. I suppose. And so there's the rest of the Pirates, and then we're going to move along, move along, and uh, you've got the uh, San Diego Chargers here. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, this is the St. Louis Cardinals. Um, they got some good defensive players. Got a one at first, and Gold Schmidt, uh, two in the corner outfields for Newt Bar. I love that name, Newt Bar. Uh, three in every outfield is uh, Richie Palacios. Center field three is uh, Michael Ciani. Then you got a five in the corner, both corner outfields for Jordan Walker. Don't know much about Jordan Walker, though, to be honest again. We're moving on to San Diego, the San Diego Padres. And now you see you got quite a few ones here. You got... Um, Hey Song Kim is a one in, at second, a one at short, a two at third. Um, you've got uh, Trent Grisham is a one in center. Uh, so yeah. And uh, Fernando Tati is a one in right field. He just moved to right field and he's a one. Now you got the Giants. Threes and fours a lot of places, not unexpected. Jock Peterson, first base five, left field five, right field five. Jock Peterson is not a good fielder, obviously. And then you got a one Yastrzemski in right, and uh, he's a two in center and left. Yastrzemski's grandson, Yaz's grandson. Now we are on to the... Um, the what? Why is the abbreviation WN? For Washington? I, you know, I would again, um, I don't know. But anyway. But it, the, the point is, this is Washington. Uh, Abrams is a shortstop three. Il, Il, Il Darmo Vargas is a two at second, a two at third, a three at short, and a four in left. And uh, and then here's just a look at some computer players and stuff. So that is my look at the ratings. I will, you know, page down a little bit more here as, you know, page around. But anyway, just wanted to give you guys a look at the uh, ratings. Anybody who's not getting them or didn't have a chance to download them now, they are on the Stratomatic website, and I expect they would be up on the... Um, Strat, da Strat Draft website soon. But that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.